Hello, in this video, we're going to find the value of the cosine of 7 pi over 12. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. We'll start by writing 7 pi over 12 as a sum of familiar angles. We can write 7 pi over 12. Well, that's equal to 4 pi divided by 12 plus and then 3 pi divided by 12. These might not seem familiar yet, but we can simplify this. 4 goes into 12 three times. We end up with pi over 3. The 4 cancels, and 4 goes into 12 three times. And then 3 goes into 3 one time, and it goes into 12 four times, which is plus pi over 4. So we can find the trig function values of pi over 3 and pi over 4. So now we can use an identity. Recall that if you have the cosine of a plus b, this is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b. And then the trick is you flip the sign. So minus sine a sine b. So now we can just take our cosine of 7 pi over 12. So we have the cosine of 7 pi over 12. And that's equal to the cosine of pi over 3 plus pi over 4. And you can see through matching that a is going to be pi over 3 and b is going to be pi over 4. This is equal to the cosine of pi over 3 times the cosine of pi over 4. And then minus sine of pi over 3, because our a is pi over 3, times the sine of pi over 4. And these are all angles that, you know, we know from memory. This is equal to, let's see, cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half, times cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2 and minus sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2, and sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. This is equal to, let's see, 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2, and then the square root of 2 times, a square root of 3 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 6, and we can write this all over 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. And so that would be our final answer. This would be the value of the cosine of 7 pi over 12. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Until next time, good luck and take care.